lot. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Today I'm back with the Zara haul. I'm a big Zara fan and it ain't even a secret. I literally never go into Zara though. I can't deal with the shops. I don't know why. I feel like everyone's really aggressive. Do you want a bag? How are you paying? Another one I'm doing returns today. It's very stressful and there's always a huge queue. So I will never ever shop in person. I always shop online, which also encourages me to spend a lot more money. I don't know what that's about, but I will buy more stuff when I shop online. So I thought I would show you some of the things that I've got. Without much further ado, grab willy-nilly what I've got. First up, I got this bodycon dress. I've been in the mood recently to wear some tighter clothes, which is very random because um, I feel like with my figure, I'm, I'm kind of straight. So if I have a big meal, I'm feeling particularly bloated, it's very obvious. So often I won't go out like for a full day in something tight, but recently I've been like, do you know what, why not? Why not? Just suck it in. <laughs> I found this dress and they do it in a couple of other colours and I thought the nude was actually really nice. I do do need to wear a bra with this, but I lack bras <laughs> in life. Like I don't have that many, especially not like structured ones because I find them a little bit uncomfortable, but this needs like a nude um, bandeau style bra. So ignore that. Um, other than that, I really, really like this dress. It's really nice quality, really tight. And I love the fact that it's tight everywhere. You know, sometimes you get like a bodycon dress and it just flaps at the back and you're like, and, and yeah, it's just like a midi length, really flattering length. We really like the nude for autumn, winter, and I think it goes nicely with actually pretty much all skin tones. There's a red and I think there's a black. Black might be a little bit more useful for most people. So put a little, I don't know where it's gone, a little chain belt on that I got from Naked Fashion. So I will leave that also in the description box. I just thought it kind of broke it up a little bit and made it, you know, a little bit more interesting. You could also pair like a chunkier belt, which might make you feel a little bit more secure and less exposed. I like it, I like it a lot. Skirt, I think I actually saw this in person. I did nip into Zara. I go into Zara and browse, like I will not even intend on buying anything in person. But I saw this on a rail and I thought it was very nice. And so it's like a faux leather skirt. I think it's faux leather. Faux leather skirt and it's just got this really nice like flicky bit at the bottom, which I think is so flattering. It's just a cute style. I like the little belt, everything about this, I am just into and I love that color for autumn winter. I can see myself wearing this so much with over the knee boots, with sock boots, with trainers, with tights, with turtlenecks, with jumpers, with a whole range of things. And I actually just paired that with a very basic jumper, which I felt was necessary in my life. And I have loads of Zara's turtlenecks, so I actually didn't need to buy any more turtlenecks, which is rare, because usually I buy new turtlenecks every single year. I do loads of turtlenecks in basically this exact same style, so I knew I'd like the quality of material. And they do like little buttons. Every year they kind of do different styles, but I feel like this is the same as last year with the gold flat detailing. Um, it's a V-neck, which I just thought was a bit different for me. And sometimes I feel like wearing a tight, like long sleeve jumper and it not being a turtleneck, <laughs> which is rare. Very rare for me, I am a big turtleneck lover. But I thought those two went nicely together. I just don't know why I didn't try these on. These are from Zara as well, they're little pump. I just thought they were very Chanel, you know? These were only 30 pounds. Are they leather? I think they are leather actually. I think that's why I bought them because I have kind of wide feet so I thought they would stretch if they were real leather um, and they're just slip on, very simple shoes. They might be a little bit too flat for me. Sometimes I find when things are so flat, they end up making my feet hurt. Um, I got these in size five, which is my actual size. These do fit me and I have kind of wide feet. So bear that in mind. I just don't know why I didn't try this on for you, but I thought they were cute. Next up, I have like a little blazer. Uh, you could wear this with trousers, obviously. I thought this would actually be really nice with some black flared trousers, but I also wanted to just try it on as it is. So I would probably, I would like to wear this as a blazer dress and I think it would probably be better on someone a little bit shorter than me. Um, I'm quite tall, so if you're a little bit smaller then this would be a perfect blazer dress. I would feel it maybe a little bit too risque. A little belt to do it up, to cinch it in and give you a nice waist. It's very short, it's very structured. I love the big shoulder pads. What size does I get this in? 
I got this in extra small to small. Oh, it says the prices on them. This was 80 pounds, so quite expensive. But again, you've got like a dress, a jacket, a coat. Got so many options with this. So yeah, again, something you could wear to work. I'd probably wear it like open to work or with another top underneath or with a turtleneck underneath and some jeans. Um, so yeah, I think that's got loads of potential and it's kind of expensive though. Like a coat price. Okay, dear, okay. Next up, something that I'm loving. This is really simple. This is an extra small and it's a squat. They're doing so many squats in uh, Zara at the moment. It's snakeskin print, which very on trend as per always. Animal print is animal print. <laughs> animal print is always on trend. I love a good snake skin. I feel like it just came around like last year and it's stuck and I enjoy it. Love a good squat. Makes you feel so like secure. A squat. A squat, there's no risks that you're gonna have your skirt flying up. So it means you can have a little bit of a cuter, shorter skirt if you want. Uh, I love this one, it does that with a little bow. So it's cute and it's girly, but it's got like the hard masculinity of the print. Paired it with a top, I was gonna say from Zara, it's all from Zara, so good story blades. This was in a small and it was 25 pounds. I love the like kind of puffy shoulders and it's just a really, really good quality fabric nice and stretchy and also you've got these two strings at the bottom which you can tighten so you can make it higher cropped or lower cropped depending on how much torso you want to be showing this is like a good top for wearing with a variety of different things you could wear it with a skirt you could wear it with some just some jeans some leggings whatever so i think that's a really good kind of simple easy top to have for most occasions another squat another squat i got it in a small rather than an extra small which it's strange, but it fits me perfectly. Uh, I like, I don't know whether I'll keep this. It kind of looks a little bit too like genuinely, someone's knocking on the door. One sec. I'm back, that was the postman. Nothing for me, sadly. Um, where was I? This skirt, squat, sorry. But it kind of feels a little bit too schoolish. Like the quality, the fabric, something about it I don't like. It is quite nice and structured, like it's hard. So it's gonna stay down and stay put. It's a nice, cute, like, it's got cute details. I do like it, I just don't think it's for me. I don't think I need it. Easy. <sighs> Sorry, I'm ready. So I'm probably not gonna keep that one, but I did pair it with a snakeskin skirt, shh. A snake skin shirt from Pretty Little Thing. I feel like that looks very worky, but I wouldn't wear that to work because it's a bit too short. So that's why it's giving me kind of a cheap school skirt vibe. Final thing is a really cute jumpsuit. I am a big fan of jumpsuits, always say this. Jumpsuits, maxi dresses, so simple. One piece makes a statement, really comfy. And you don't really have to do anything else with this. Like you wouldn't really need any, except any cool accessories. You just can literally put that on and people will be like, wow, you made an effort, you look good. Nice blue jumpsuit. It's not too crazy blue. So it's not like a absolute wild crazy jumpsuit. Like I'm, I know that sometimes I prefer crazier out there pieces and not everybody does. It was 50 pounds. I got it in a small rather than an extra small just because I'm quite tall and I've broad shoulders and I love the kind of puffy shoulders. It's so flattering. It also means that you've got like a bit going on at the top and then it cinches in your waist even further. There's a belt to pull in and make a little bow. It's kind of a feminine vibe with a masculine piece. Like I think jumpsuits tend to be a little bit more masculine but these kind of puffy shoulders and the bow tie around the waist just make it that a little bit girly, a little bit more feminine. That is everything from my Zara haul and try on. I hope you guys liked it. I'm sure I'll be doing another one when it gets a little bit more cold again. All of the products in the description box. Please just get Please, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you in my next video.